This is a seahorse aquarium. I'm going to show you the difference in the type of corals that you can keep with seahorses versus a regular aquarium. I've got this aquarium and my husband has a regular aquarium that's pretty impressive. But for seahorses, you need to stick with some soft corals, um, mushrooms. Um, I've got up here, I've got some zoas right there. And that's Fuego. They love to have these chains to cling onto. They'll often position themselves on there to either sleep or eat. Seahorses do eat three times a day, so you need to be committed to their feeding. Here's some large toadstools. A lemonia. I've got some Duncans back there. Big, beautiful mushroom. This is a Celeria tree. And then across the way is the same type of tree. However, this one is neon. It's a more electric in color. I will tell you though that these here, these uh, candy canes can sting your seahorses and um, they're kind of a no-no for seahorse tanks. However, I've had them in my tank for about two years and I keep them up high where my seahorses don't wander so they haven't been a problem for me. And then I've got this big beauty here which has outgrown my tank so I'll either need a bigger tank or sell him. Uh, seahorses like to cling to things so this is Aya. So any coral like this that's got extensions they'll hold on to. Most mushrooms are safe. And this is a feather that's not out. Those are safe. And way back there you can see my baby and that is a tiger tail seahorse and that's a dream. Polyps are safe. Acans. Zoas. And I do have an all white seahorse and I wish you could see him. He likes to be behind this rock. He's quite magnificent. So I'm gonna show you my husband's tank now and you can see the difference in um, the types of corals that you can keep. Seahorses are often kept in their own tanks because about 95% of these corals and fish will harm seahorses. It's not so much that the fish are aggressive, although some may be, it's just that they eat so quickly that your seahorses can starve to death. This beautiful Japanese toadstool here, that is safe for seahorses, and I love it and want it in my own tank. It's the shape of a heart. But all of these guys up here sting seahorses. Those are no-nos. And these fish here are much too aggressive for seahorses. This little guy here, he picks algae and unwanted things in your tank, which is such a perfect thing to have. However, they can pick them off your seahorse's body because seahorses can get algae on their body. And so that could kill them. So you don't want that type of fish. That's a crosshatch. So you can see the huge difference between my tank and my husband's tank. His is just breathtaking. He has a peninsula, six feet. Yes, we do have two large tanks in our living room. We're crazy about fishes and coral. This is his feather or I'm sorry, his worm rock. It's quite impressive. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at as far as setting up a tank, whether you want to specialize in these gorgeous corals 
or you want to keep seahorses and you need to stick to toadstools and soft corals and things like that. Thanks for watching.